Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to come on and talk about my current planner collection. Um, over the past few years I've amassed and de-stashed quite a few different planners, different sizes, different systems and whatnot. These three here sitting in front of you, I'm currently de-stashing. If you're interested, you can leave me a comment down below and DM me with your information or any questions you might have. But yeah, I'm getting rid of these. This one here is a D-ringed Philofax personal size chestnut croc. Now I D-ring this and I did it so that I could fit at the time that I was using a Jaboon Techo. Right now it just houses a couple of notebooks that I have, which is my Midori B6 Slim and an Anami Cafe Notes B6 Slim. I also cut out the pen loop because as you can see, it would interfere with the book when you have one in there. But I think, well with this notebook I actually added a little sticky pen note on there so you could put a pen in there but you could just stick a pen in there like so if you needed to carry one with you so yeah I have this one that I'm listing because I no longer use and the next one that I'm going to get rid of is this one now I love VDS this is a VDS custom codex and a size B6. The only customations I had done to it was I added a second pin loop and I changed the layout to I believe what they call the Nomad layout except you get two pockets instead of three because it's not wide enough for three. The leather again is the touch me leather so it's uh, I think it's a buffalo leather which is very, very, oh, excuse the light. My blinds are closed, but I just saw the light come through. Um, it's very durable. The only reason why I'm listing this is because next year I'm going to use a cut down cousin. Now, I do have a cut down of Beck that will fit in here. But as far as the material giving way and stretching, because you know with um, Tomorrow River paper, if you do a lot of stickers or anything like that, which I don't, but it can get pretty thick. So um, I decided to go ahead and let it go. And no matter what size, if I cut my cousin down extremely a lot, that's the only way it'll fit in this cover. VDS B6 covers are smaller than Jillio B6 covers. And that's what I have my cut down cousin housed in right now is a B6. So this beautiful baby is also in the uh, weightless leather color of, I always say this wrong. I think it's boys do rose or maybe rose do boys. One of the two. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, like, I don't know, pink, pink. It's a nice shade of pink. I don't think it has any orange undertones in it or anything like that. But if you're familiar with the color for all you VDS people, you'll know what I'm talking about for you non-VDS people. Just go take a look on the website. But yeah. So this baby is listed to go. So if you're interested again, reach out to me. This here, <clears throat> excuse me, is my B6 Traveler's Notebook by Bassey and Company. They're a leather maker out of Virginia in the US. So if you wanted to get one, well, show is Chic Sparrow. They're also made in America too. I was gonna say with everything going on, it's hard to get covers like hand stitch leather tea or other cover makers that are outside the US <clears throat> excuse me but this here is a very well made cover I loved this cover when I got it and I 
I initially wanted to um, get another one. And then I wanted to get one with a spine. And now they offer snaps. Because I would prefer to have one without the string. I said like last year sometime when I got one, another Traveler's Notebook, that I wasn't a string girl. I don't know why I keep trying to go back to them. But the leather is superb in here. It smells good. It's very well made. Um, but I'm not going to use it any longer. So I'm going to let this puppy go too. And as you can see, I've had this one probably since September. And I was carrying it. Very, very few minor scratches. It's um, soft, but not overly soft leather. So again, this one's going. Now, I only have six covers left that I'm keeping. And they're like my forever covers. In my collection, I won't be getting rid of these. They are a mixture of Giglio and hand stitch leather tee. Go figure, right? So the first one is my A6 Apunto from Giglio in a polka black. This has the smoothest texture. When I ordered this, I ordered this, I believe, at the beginning of this year of 2020. Was the beginning of this year? I think it was because I found Hobonichi in 2019 and this was the first Hobonichi book that I had bought. I ended up using this as a journal to my baby but um and I still have it housed with this book and I'll probably just keep it housed with this book but man this is so smooth and when I got this I did have another one that was in a lime the lime green not lime green is it lime green? Acid green. A polka leather that I actually gifted to my mom. It's beautiful as well. And it's also a smooth leather. I love their smooth leather. I'm not a pebbly person. But my other two covers are more pebblier than this one. So this one here, like I say, I'm not currently using it. But I will never sell it. It's going to stay here. The next one I have is a hand stitch leather tee. Now, I just did a video on this one probably last month or a month before is when I got it. Now, I do wish that I would have gotten the belt closure. I don't know why I got a string. Like I said, not a string girl. I don't know why I got a string. This here is in their nude, so I guess it's akin to um, undyed leather. It's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. So... Even though I don't like strings, I don't think I'm ready to let go of this one yet. Now, if I order another one in the future, I will order it with a belt strap, and then I'll let this one go. But until then, no. This one's staying here. And right now, I just have it housed with Astology, just to keep some shape and form to it. And I've had it, like I said, for a couple of months. Oh, wow, maybe it is kind of patina -y. I can't tell. Oh, that light. I'm so sorry. So I don't know if it's patina or not. I don't think it is. Someone, I have seen other videos on, like, her tobacco leather, and they said they do patina. So we shall see. Then the next one that I have is an A5. I just got this beauty off the Buy Sell Trade group. And as you can see, it is a little pebblier. Let me compare it with my A6. You see that? But from the pictures, I saw that it was pebbly. But I just wanted a polka black. I love their polka black. And it smells so good. So this is an Apunto. I am no longer in rings. I left rings when I found Hobonichi. So I haven't been in rings since then. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now I have a Stology, an A5. 
that is housed in here. And I did start this Stology for journaling, but I dropped off, as you can see. So right now, it's just housing that. So if I ever decide to go with a full-on cousin or an Avec and not actually cut it down, I'll have a cover for it. I did have another um, VDS cover that I recently sold on the Bicycle Trade Group that I bought off the Bicycle Trade Group. And interestingly enough, there is a video, I can't remember the young lady's name, and she compared the Moturn A5, the Gilio A5, and the VDS A5. And the Gilio A5 was actually smaller, like a quarter of an inch, than the VDS. I was really surprised about that. But anyway, that's this one. And this one here is the latest edition I got from Hand Stitch Leather Tea. These are two new colors that they added to their lineup. I don't know when they added them, but when I went on there to order the nude one, I was actually going to order a tobacco, and then I saw a whole another picture of a whole bunch of other colors that she had. So after I ordered my nude, I decided to go ahead and order this one. And like I said, it takes Tanya, once she opens up and she processes your orders, it's a good two weeks for you to get another order. Um, but for some reason, I actually reached out to her because it had been maybe a week and a half before this was actually shipped out. But this is in their color coral. I adore this cover. I adore this cover. I love her leather. It's very soft. It is in the Traveler's Notebook style, but it doesn't have the, uh, the, the elastic. That's what I like about it so much. I love this closure. Now, I do have it housed with my Wonderland B, Wonderland 222 B6 notebook and planner. This is what I was actually gonna use for the upcoming year of 2021, but I've since changed my mind, like so many others do. But hopefully, I can use what I intend to use, and I'll show you that in a minute, for 2021 and be done. But this cover here, I got very simple. Just, it has no inner pockets, just your slip-in pockets, no outer pockets, just a pin loop, and a um, belt closure. I will say with hand stitch leather tee though, their pin loops are very generous. If you have skinny pins, you probably could put two skinny pins in here. Right now I just have it housed with a Julio pin. And man, I never knew I like Julio pens. Like, man, they write really good. Anyway, so this is what I'm currently using up until next week after Christmas when the Hobonichi starts that last week of um, December. I'm using it just as a regular planner. I don't use the index or the key pages. Um, the quarter pages. I never got around to using. I was going to use them to track expenses that happen on a quarterly basis or um, every three months, every six months, or yearly. And like I said, it's a 2021 book, so we haven't got there yet. Uh, the yearly spread here, I was actually going to use as my cycle tracker, which I tried to start in October because it also, again, starts in 2021. And then moving from that, the project routine tracker, I just, I started and fell off. And then of course you go into your months. One thing I will say about the Wonderland that I love is that your months are accompanied by your weeks. Most planners have all of your months up front and then your weeks and then your days or all of your months and then your weeks, <clears throat> excuse me, or all of your months and then your days. I much per, much more prefer to have the months, the weeks, and the days in one section. When I was in rings, that's how I set my book up or my planner. That was the best thing about rings for me. <laughs> but anyway, we're not talking about that. So yeah. Just some monthly spread. I just have all my expenses and 
other stickers for the holidays, appointments, and things like that. And then when I got into weeks, <clears throat> excuse me, I just tracked the weather, things I got to do. I put down a little washi. But this is one thing that I found that I didn't care for with this planner, is having my Saturday and Sunday split up. It gets a little bit mushy and too much going on sometimes. And I find that if I had my own dedicated column, now I do not know, because I didn't buy this book in an A5, I do not know if the A5 indeed has that split up or not. I don't know. Um, but that's near here or there. And then this is how my weeks kind of go. I see some other spreads and people are so, their spreads are so pretty, they're so neat. I think my spreads are kind of messy. Kind of goal planning is what I would use the overview for. And then wash, plan, and repeat. So that's how I was using that. Now with my notebook, I think this is a very generous notebook. It's very nice um, comparative to Astology, I guess. But I do like the overall size of the Astology. The Astology B6 size, I believe, is the Japanese standard, whereas this book is the international standard in B6, which makes it smaller overall. Not by very much, but enough to notice. It's a very nice book. So that's what I'm currently using, like I said, until next week. Then next week, I will be moving into her. This is my B6 Giglio Apunto. I dyed this. It was in the color of aubergine because Giglio doesn't offer this color. I call it Choco Croco because it looks chocolate. Now, I only put, I did a video on this, my last video, if you look at my channel, it's on there. This was my last video showing how I dyed it and what I did. I love it now. I thought I was gonna love the aubergine color and I just didn't. And when I tried to carry it, I got a mark on it and that totally freaked me out. And I was like, nope, <clears throat> excuse me. I shouldn't have bought a light color. Not for something of this price because I don't like babying things. So that was that. So I just dyed it. But anyway, this is what I'm going to be using for 2021. This is housing my cut down cousin to a B6. Ugh. And it is, I eventually had it done at Home Depot. No, Home Depot, Office Depot. Uh, I wonder if Home Depot does that. At Office Depot, <clears throat> excuse me, and the young lady did tell me books this big tend to bow out. Do you see that? I'm doing this way. They tend to bow out. So this is not like a straight cut. This is crooked or it comes to a point. I got this idea after seeing Planet Joe here on YouTube show his book cut down to fit his B6 Apunto. His is perfectly straight. So, I just think it's the end user who does the cutting that can't cut or can't put stuff straight. I don't know. But there's also another young lady that was in the group that had hers cut. She lives internationally, but where she went, they cut her book straight too. So it can be done. <laughs> so I was a little bit upset about that. But irregardless, I got to use it the way it is. <clears throat> so this is what I'll be using for 2021. And of course, I will be keeping this like forever. And last, but certainly not least, this is a new addition that I added because I wanted a B6 Apoca. And I chose to go with the burgundy. I was gonna go with the black. 
but when I when they released them all the pictures I saw were very pebbled now if you look at this yeah it's pebbly it's not smooth I did ask for smooth but right here it's very smooth if the entire cover would have come out like this I would have been so thrilled but I guess maybe this was the smoothest one that they had in what they had because this is what they sent me I'm not 100% sure but you either take it or leave it and I decided to go ahead and keep it because it was my last purchase for a while and it has the same layout as any other Ubuntu but like right here too super duper smooth oh I don't know why I love smooth leather but anyway so these are my covers that I have currently that I will be keeping oh try to stay in frame and that's my collection watching hope you enjoyed and again don't forget if you are interested in one of these cases covers hit me up till next time